up, YouTube? -y? Denny in Saigon. Uh, my name's Denny. I'm an American, but I live in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, I'm on a motorbike in traffic, which is uh, traditionally how I make my videos. I'm on my way across uh, the city, Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, from where I live in District 12, I'm going to District 1. Uh, I have business to take care of. District 1 is the uh, is the one of the big important districts where there are a lot of foreigners and uh, you can take care of all kinds of business there. Uh, that's where Walking Street is. I'm headed near there. And uh, I have some documents I need signed, so I gotta go down near District 3. Which is, it's uh, early morning right now. It's heavy traffic. Uh, this is uh, Pan Bad Tree. You can see up here. Uh, it's a big, a big road that goes across town. Uh, I've been living here for over two years. Been driving through the city. I know how to get across town real well. Uh, Google Maps will take you way out of the way, but I know the best ways, and this is it. Uh, usually, there's not this much traffic, but in the mornings and in the evenings, there is. could have came last night and stayed in a hotel. I almost did, but uh, it was cool last night, real comfortable, and there were nowhere near this much traffic. Uh, hotel over near Walking Street, it can be had for about $10 a night, or you can get a much nicer one. So they're pretty cheap. I always spend too much money if I go to Louis Van, my favorite place in the world. Try to save money right now and I spend it, but I'm gonna go get my teeth work on and uh, and I'm gonna go get some documents signed, so that's what I'm doing today. Navigate this big ass intersection here, it is a big one, it's easy though. It seems uh, it seems difficult at first, you know, when you first start doing this, it seems pretty difficult, but after time, you just I mastered this city like uh, you know, Grand Theft Auto or something. I can I can get from Bowie Van in District One all the way up to District Twelve in about 45 minutes at night. It's not not too bad. Uh, and Google Maps will take you it take you all the way around the city. I meet teachers all the time that do that. They follow Google Maps and they go right into the heaviest traffic. Uh, I know it's supposed to be taking you into the light traffic, but it never does. It takes you always right into the heavy traffic right into where all the stoplights are at. There's some parts of the city is, I mean, just overwhelmed with stoplights and long stoplights and stuff. I don't, it's real hot if you're on a motorbike and you gotta sit. It's pretty cool if you can keep rolling, but if, once you gotta start sitting in the sun here, man, you're gonna, you're gonna evaporate pretty quickly. Uh, this traffic is not too bad. You notice I'm driving with one hand, got my phone in my hand. It's not hard. I see people doing it all the time in the city. Uh, even with lots of big stuff. They, people are driving around with big stuff. In there, whatever. Tired families on motorbikes and stuff. Uh, you need to have good brakes here, obviously. That's important. It's important to be able to stop. Uh, it's uh, very important. You need to be able to stop right away and you need to be able to go right away. I don't like uh, the um, semi-automatic motorbikes. I've had a couple of those before. I mean, you can get used to shifting the gears and everything, but you don't want to have to mess with it in traffic, really. If you're a teacher and you're, if they send you all over the city to work and you're usually, you know, trying to make time and you get out in the middle of some big intersection and you stall out because of your gears, you know, so that's not cool. I like this uh, automatic motorbike style I got here. It's just about right for me. It's got a lot of room on the floorboard here where I can put my uh, put my bag if I want to. I can ride on the back and stretch out my legs. You can't really do that on these little Honda Waves. Pretty hot right now. It's starting to warm up. 
be the rainy season soon. Right before the rainy season, it gets damn hot. I should stop and get me a coconut or something. As you're driving through the city, you see all these beautiful Vietnamese girls. And they are, they're gorgeous. I, I just love them so much. I was thinking that this morning when I came out of my room and uh, I came out of the hotel and it's the sun is shining and there's all these beautiful girls everywhere. They just, they're like flowers, man. It makes me happy as can be to be here. It makes me happy as can be. These people are really nice. It's a great place to be. I am going to have to go home because of my kids. Uh, I have obligations at home. I need to take care of some things. But I'm probably going to come back, I think. I think there's no way I'm going to be able to go away from here forever. I'm going to miss it too much when I leave. Seafood restaurant, which uh, they're everywhere. Seafood restaurants and coffee shops are everywhere here. I'm not really into seafood, otherwise I'd probably enjoy that a lot more. I do like shrimp. You can have shrimp cooked in beer, and uh, they'll bring a little stove out, put it on your table, and cook it right in front of you, and it's uh, pretty damn delicious. Shrimp is, uh, you know, like a lot of things, it, it kind of depends on how you make it. You know, who's cooking it, really? They ask me if I like Vietnamese food. I do. I do like Vietnamese food. It really depends on who's making it. You know, I've had, sometimes I've had food here I don't really enjoy. I think it's more the, the restaurant than the, the food. You know, most of their food is good if it's made in a way that I like, I guess. I'll put it that way. I like uh, banh mi. It's pretty good. It's a sandwich, basically. A big baguette. A big, it's not good if it's stale bread, right? I don't really like it. It's just like Subway sandwich. Vegetables, a little bit of meat on a big piece of stale bread. But over in Bowie Van, I, I know a girl who makes them over there and she uh, heats them up and stuff. And so the bread is nice and moist and she puts egg and cheese on there. It's real good. Uh, I'm in traffic here. I'm trying to think of what was I going to talk about. I, I got a thumbs down on my last video. So I can't. Now I'm stuck here. No, I'm not really stuck. I'm not trying to. They all just kind of stop where they want to stop. That's where they block the road at. I'm going right around. Uh, see how that works? Fact, I'm going to go in just a fucking minute. As soon as these people across the street take off, I'm taking off. Which is about... Watching my mirror here. See these people coming up on the other side of that barrier? That's what we do. A chicken wing. You get used to it here, you know. You get used to the traffic. It's uh, they do have rules and stuff. Of course, I don't know what any of them are. Um, I just kind of learned from the way they all do it. Sometimes I go on the other side of the barrier too. Uh, sometimes I go on the sidewalk, you know. Sometimes you have to. The cops they might grab you your money out of your pocket usually it's not going to be a federal offense you know like things are at home i mean your results may vary but i've i've been pulled over here and the police have not been terribly unkind to me they have taken a little money i was pulled over uh, one night when i was real drunk coming back home from Bowie Van when i first got here and uh he just took a little money from me sent me on my way Uh, oh yeah, I got a thumbs down on my video, my last video, which is, uh, I guess it's a good, it's cool because that means people are watching my videos. Uh, it's probably my mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Uh, hopefully I didn't offend anybody, but just giving out my opinions. Uh, I don't remember what I said. Excuse me. It's, uh, I'm in traffic driving and stuff, man. I'm, I'm, I am talking to you, but I'm also, I, my mind is on the traffic, so I'm trying to do trying to multitask here I remember what I want to talk about and uh, and also pay attention to traffic here uh, I think I was talking about maybe the New Zealand shooting uh, obviously people are going to find that irritating uh, 
I've got an opinion. I just want to share it. Obviously, I don't support uh, anybody killing anybody, for God's sake. I'm a peaceful dude, mostly. Huh. I notice like, you can't see a lot of problems in the world. I hope they, hope they fix this crap. I, they try to make it worse every day. I pay attention to the news. Two things I like, technology and the news. that because you can't if you uh you don't want to take off in front of that bus because there's always a, a motorbike speeding in front of something like that you know they fly in front of those buses to try to make the light and so you don't want to try to get in front of it like that that's why i kind of I, otherwise i would have tried to beat those guys to the other side of the intersection there if i would have made it uh, the way it works here you know you get your tire in front of their tire and you get to go that's kind of how it works you get it's like football you know you get the angle and uh, so there's kind of a system, you know. The aggressive drivers usually win. Uh, you notice here the difference between men and women drivers is really apparent, right? It's real obvious because women are much more cautious than men. And uh, and here, a lot of the times, it's if it's an accident, it's like two dudes, you know, on one motorbike. <laughs> They're usually the craziest. And uh, mostly it's dudes in the accidents here. Or if it's a girl on the ground, it's because some dude was driving. Uh, but there's a, there's a system to it, and, and once you get used to it, it's not too difficult. Stay out of the way of the buses, because they are everywhere. And they will push you. The buses, for sure, will push you. You've got to stay out of their way. I seen a motorbike underneath the bus right in front of my hotel a few weeks ago. I didn't see anybody, on, uh, you know, no, no blood stains on the ground, but I seen the motorbike there. I don't know how long this video is, it's probably getting real long. Uh, anyways, uh, you know, sorry if I offended you on my last video, but thanks for the, thanks for the thumbs down. It's like 25% of a like. And, uh, my name's Denny. And uh, thanks for watching my video wherever you're at. I hope you have a really nice day.